in conclusion. There is a tale that there was a man of coal skin complexion who was at the Battle of Yamazaki for Hideyoshi's revenge. If this is true, there was only one man in Japan in that area with coal colored skin. This would mean Hideyoshi came and saved Yasuke from the Jesuits. Thomas Lockley also states Hideyoshi on two occasions asked Africans to sing and dance for him. Perhaps Yasuke used to sing and dance, but seeing no more of Yasuke in the record, it is most likely after returning to avenge his lord manning the cannon, which may have been due to his injuries, perhaps even received from the priests. Yasuke left, possibly even back to Africa, where he blended in, finally. Regardless, this story isn't just about some black eye or culture stealing. It's about classism, caste systems, racism, constant infighting, mistreatment, and betrayal, and the unification of Japan. There just happens to be a black man in the background of all of this. Yasuke, like Hideyoshi, came from the bottom and rose to the top, not letting the caste system in their way. Hideyoshi, a peasant, rose to become emperor of Japan through hard work, dedication, and loyalty. He let nothing stop him in life. He only should have stopped early instead of going for Korea. He took revenge for his lord instead of caring just for himself and possibly even saved the black man from a life of horror at the Jesuit priests. There is also a possibility that Yasuke stayed with the priests and they were kind to him. Or Villianano simply let him go to get revenge for his lord. It is also possible that deep down the Japanese saw this man as an oni or a demon and on some deeper level didn't want the curse of his death upon them. Regardless, this man lived and this black man rose to the sky through hard work, dedication, and he should be remembered as one of our ancestors. <laughs>